I have been using this little uh, inexpensive Android stick uh, running open ELEC and TV head inserter as my DVR back in and it worked uh, works really good so I've been using it for about two or three years and this tuner this is the one I use silicon dust uh, again this uses my antenna that's about on my roof but uh, using this and this that gives me a whole home DVR solution but one thing that I had to do there was no way I could get guide data to work directly off of the stick so I would have to uh, use schedules direct for the guide data using a batch file that I created and then I would export the XML file to the uh, location on my open ELEC which shows up on my network so but what happened now Mr. Edit Forever came along and made an APA script so in other words you can install his add-on inside open ELEC and what that does it configures it so that it uses the TV guide from Zap to it. So now it becomes a 100% standalone DVR solution. So I don't have to export any XML file. It does it all by itself. So I will go through and show you how to do that. Uh, very, but I'm very impressed. It's, it's really a game changer what he's done. So I was using it. It was about a 95% standalone solution with his add-on he just the APK that he just created it works great now so now this box this little stick I will just set it and forget it and it'll always be there running my back end so anyway um, I'll show you how to do that okay the first thing that we want to do we want to install his APK we go and we download it download it save it to my desktop okay now it's saved there now what I'm going to do is open it up and then I'm going to drop and drag it into my download folder and there's his original one and here's one he just updated so right now it is in my open ELEC I'm sitting here on my Windows computer but it shows up on my network places so I just dropped it into this download folder so now I'll go over to my TV and open up my open ELEC and show you how to configure it so follow me now okay now we're back to my TV where I have my uh, little stick connected to my TV so anyway, again, this is my little MK808B Plus running open ELEC. But everything is connected uh, with Ethernet. I don't use Wi-Fi unless I absolutely have to, but uh, this, in this case, it is uh, using Ethernet. Alright, so now what we need to do is go to, if you recall, using my Windows computer, I saved that file, I downloaded and saved the file uh, using my network places to this particular device's uh, memory. So we want to install it from the zip file. So we put it in this location. I saved it to the download folder on this little stick. And I'd already installed uh, number one that he had done yesterday, and he's already made some enhancements today. So I have not tested it, so we're going to install it right now. Okay, so now we'll go back to my add ons, go to program add ons, and there it is. Now we want to configure it. Okay, now what we need to do. EPG source, zap to it, and what we need here, we put in our username, which is our email address. Now, if you have not already subscribed to zap to it, uh, it's free. You just have to register, uh, and then you'll get a username and password. When you enter that in the information, and you click OK, and everything is cool there, then all you have to do is go back to your computer 
and uh, set everything up. So anyway, um, that's done. Now I'll go ahead and put my username and password in it, and I'll reboot it, and then when I go to the computer, I'll show you how to use the data that is gathered by this XML TV from Zap to it. Okay, so I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay, I just got done configuring uh, the setup on my uh, OpenELEC device, which was, wasn't much to it. All you had to do was put in your username and uh, password so that you have access to Zap to a website so you can get their data. So anyway, now we go into the configuration. So let's go to configuration. Now, most of these I've already set up yesterday, so some of them I did not, so... Here's one scheduled direct. Okay, we click on that. We go to edit. Now, EPG source. Okay, we want 18.3. We want the zap to it one. So we click that and we uncheck this one. Click save. Okay, now that's all there is to it. Now we will just continue on down and do the rest of them. Uh, I'll just do another one to show you, but they're all the same. We go to EPG source, 28.1, and we got two. One from Schedule Direct, which I had been using, and now this one here, we'll select that one. Save. Okay, now what that does, that, that is a configuration. Um, EPG Grabber. Now, when you added that little app in the OpenELEC and rebooted, it created this right here, this grabber. Okay, now this is what's actually grabbing your uh, TV guide. So that's what it is. So once you add it, you just select that module, and really nothing else on here I've changed. This is all the default. So I just leave it as is. Uh, so... Anyway, it's very simple what he did. So now what it did, it made that little uh, $30 Android stick run up a full-blown, 100% standalone DVR back end. So I don't know if everybody can relate to what that is, but for $30 and that little tuner for about $80 or $90, you have a full-blown DVR. Now, I could have added... Uh, um, external hard drive, which I didn't have, but I had a couple of NASA's, Network Area Stored Devices, so I save all my recordings to that. But those are in my other videos, so if interested, this is how to do it, but uh, this is a game changer. When he did that, created that little app to give you this right here, so it pulls in the uh, channel guides, that is awesome. That is excellent. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.